Science confirms that dogs can recognize a bad person. We all love our pets and consider them the smartest, kindest, cutest, most loyal, and the list of top-notch qualities goes on and on. It looks like dog owners have scientific evidence to prove that their pets are the most perceptive and can even help them single out bad people. But dogs aren't just natural-born detectives. Their list of superpowers goes beyond letting you know whether or not you can trust someone. Stick around till the end of the video as we dig up the dirt on your dog's incredible abilities. But first, take this moment to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so that you'll never miss an update from us again. Dogs can recognize a bad person. A team led by Dr. Akiko Takaoka from the Department of Psychology at Japan's Kyoto University conducted a study, the results of which were published in Animal Cognition Journal in March 2015, to find out if a dog would trust a person who lied to it. The experiment went like this. Dog owners would first point to a container with food in it, and the dog would run to it. They would then trick their dog into approaching a container without food simply by pointing to it. This comes as no surprise, of course, since we know that dogs usually run to wherever their owners point at. In fact, because of this, scientists are sure that canines understand human gestures. But when the gestures are inconsistent, the dog can become nervous and stressed. The third time around, the dogs would not follow the pointing hand. They simply didn't believe the liars. All of the 34 dogs that took part in the experiment showed the same results. What this means is that the dogs were using their previous bad experience to know that a person was untrustworthy. Attaboy, pup. Don't let them fool you. The group of scientists claims that the research has a potential implication in the behavioral study of canines. It also tells us that dogs prefer this world to be certain, according to animal behavior expert Dr. John Bradshaw of the University of Bristol. As for Dr. Takaoka, she plans to do the experiment on wolves since they're the closest relative to dogs. They feel how other people treat their owners. One more study, published in Neuroscience and Biobehavioral Reviews, states that dogs clearly read the communication between their owners and strangers. In the experiment, researchers at Kyoto University had dog owners ask two groups of strangers for a little help. One was supposed to agree, while the other was told to rudely decline. Afterwards, the strangers tried to give the pups a treat, and the doggos surprised us yet again. They wouldn't take a treat from the people who'd been mean or disrespectful towards their owners. In fact, besides distrusting them, they flat out ignored these meanies. They preferred to be fed by those who'd helped, and actually showed kindness towards these people as if they were reciprocating the gesture. Thus, the canines showed a good understanding of social etiquette. These experiments prove that dogs can feel how others interact with their owners and draw their own conclusions on how to treat those people. Dogs can read our body language and emotions. It's been proven time and time again that dogs are able to read our gestures and facial expressions. Scientists at the Messerli Research Institute's Clever Dog Lab in Vienna managed to teach dogs the difference between sad and happy faces. With enough training and treats for a job well done, the pooches were eventually able to tell the happy faces from the sad ones, even with human faces they didn't come across during their training. It means they actually learn to recognize emotions by judging facial expressions. You're probably wondering, how did the animals show their choice? They simply touched the right picture with their nose. They can sense fear. Don't let it know you're afraid, otherwise it will definitely attack you. This is the sort of catchphrase told to people who are afraid of dogs. But this isn't just some urban legend. Researchers at Liverpool University took it from a popular belief to a popular belief backed up by science. In a study of 694 people, the scientists found a link between a person's emotional state and their likelihood of getting bitten. Emotionally stable and confident people didn't get bitten nearly as often as those who feel anxious around intimidating dogs. How is it possible? Well, dogs might not have psychic powers to read the fear in your mind, but they do have a very keen sense of smell. With their super-sensitive noses, they can detect the chemical reactions going on in our body when we're stressed. The most obvious of those would be sweating and releasing adrenaline. 
As our blood starts pumping faster from fear, we start emitting pheromones that spread all around. Plus, as we already know by now, dogs are great at reading facial expressions. You're probably not going to be grinning from ear to ear as you're trembling in fear, are you? So if you don't fancy sharp teeth piercing your limb, don't freak out the next time you see a Doberman rushing in your direction. Plus, it might just want to say hello. The research also claims that insecure dog owners tend to pass on that feature to their own canine companions. Their final conclusion was that dogs tend to bite dog owners more often than people who don't have a pooch. No way! What else can dogs sense with their incredibly sharp noses? You've probably heard about their ability to predict weather changes and earthquakes, but what about detecting serious illnesses? Hmm. Dogs can smell cancer. Lots of dog owners have reported that their pets paid particular attention to their body part affected by cancer. The most common types of cancer they can detect are breast and colon cancer. In case this doesn't sound very true to you, there's scientific evidence to back it up. Dr. Hilary Brody, a professor in the Department of Otolaryngology at the University of California, Davis, claims that dogs can find the cancer-affected tissues out of dozens of samples. Cancerous cells have a specific smell that doesn't exist in healthy tissues. There's even a special organization in the UK called Medical Detection Dogs, with eight powerful sniffers that analyze urine samples for cancer. The organization's CEO was actually saved by her own Labrador, who kept staring and lunging at her chest. This ended up helping her find breast cancer at a very early stage, and she was cured of it. Scientists believe it'd take about six months of training for a dog to be able to recognize the sense of specific cancer types. They can warn of upcoming epileptic seizures and diabetic shock. People with insulin-dependent diabetes must control their blood glucose levels since they can change dramatically and suddenly drop to dangerous levels. Sounds pretty scary, huh? But alas, looks like dogs can come to the rescue in this situation too. Their super noses can sense the rapid changes in blood sugar levels since they change the smell of an affected person's breath and skin. Dogs for Diabetics has been training dogs to use their natural breath detectors since 2004. The students at this doggy medical school learn how to inform their owners of upcoming diabetic attacks. They can also help parents by warning them of upcoming attacks in their children. The same super senses let dogs predict seizures, and enough training teaches them to help a seizing person and even fetch a phone when it's needed. In a study published in the European Journal of Epilepsy, a group of scientists carried out an experiment in which they taught dogs to anticipate epileptic seizures by giving them treats each time their owner had a seizure. Who would have thought that an animal notorious for chasing its own tail was such a super genius? Dogs can sense serious diseases and save us from attacks. They can decipher our gestures and decide if they want to follow social cues. They can even decide to stop trusting and obeying you when you try to trick them. So if your dog doesn't like your friends, maybe there's something wrong in your friendships? How clever is your canine? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.